Hi everyone, I am Jenna Anthony. This is Apple Creations. Welcome. Uh, this is our the live we should have had yesterday. But you know when a grandchild calls and says, my car won't start, I need help, you drop everything and go. So ever, all the plans you have, you put aside. So what we're making is a snowman jar. I am in a, a swap with a, in a couple other groups with some ladies. So I am making the things that I am giving them. And this is one of them. And they're not in, on my page yet. So um, I can show this. Now this is just a mason jar. I had this. I'm not sure what its intended purpose was. But it. I put... Uh, there was one coat of chalk paint on here. I put another coat on here today. And it's just a Waverly Ivory um, Walmart. Um, I'm thankful I have this little jar because I bought a big one and I have no idea where I put it. Do you do that? You put things like somewhere and it's like, it's gone. So this has two coats of Waverly paint on it. And we're going to make this into a snowman. What else I'm using is the Gorilla Glue uh, glue sticks, Mod Podge, the Waverly chalk paint, and something I forgot to show you on the last video for our snowman, because we've been making snowmen this week, is its nose. I did post a picture of the snowman with the nose on, but I didn't show you what it was. Mini pumpkin. I take this stem out, and that is the nose that I'm using. All I do is I chop this part off that goes down into the pumpkin, and then I paint it with this is called, this is a nail lacquer nail polish, and it's neon orange. And it makes the perfect uh, snowman nose. And the lacquer stays on this plastic a little bit better. Because every time I go somewhere, I forget to pick up orange uh, acrylic paint. But this works great. And you can get this at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar. You know, it's just orange nail polish. Not sure why somebody would wear this, but hey, to each his own. So, I also mixed a little bit of red acrylic paint with some of the uh, chalk paint just to um, make it more of a pink, and that's what's in this jar. So, here's the nose. Okay? So, it makes the perfect color for, the, for a nose. Okay, we also are using, this is a sleeve from a shirt my hubby was getting rid of. So, I like that it's primitive. I also have some grunge here, and I also have some um, little rusty jingle bells. So, we're all about primitive. On here, the button placket on the sleeve, I'm leaving. I'm using that as an element to his hat. Because that's what this is going to be. And all I'm going to do is just glue this closed. So that we can put it on his head. And I have, um, this is a 20 set of lights. I got these from Timu last, last Christmas. I ordered a ton of these. And uh, I really like these. I wish I could find these somewhere other than Timu. Because I only got about 20 of these left. Okay, let's get started. So we have two coats of ivory chalk paint. I like the Waverly brand. There's all kinds of brands out there. You can even do a uh, homemade chalk paint. And I think I have a homemade chalk paint uh, tagged at the top. I took some of the snow. It comes in a bag from Dollar Tree. And I added some diamond dust and some other glitter to this. And uh, that's why it's in a bottle, but we're also going to be using this because snowman, you have to have snow. And I have a thread in my paint. So this side of the jar has the uh, texture on it from the label. So I'm using the back side of the jar because this would be the front because it has the, I don't know if you, yeah, there you go, you can see it. So that's going to be the back of our jar. 
So I want this smooth surface on here. And the chalk paint really sticks to the to glass really well without having to prime it and everything. The only thing I do before I paint is I take some alcohol on paper towel and I go over it just to make sure that my fingerprints aren't on there and you know that it's squeaky clean. So even though you run it through a dishwasher, there still could be some soap residue or whatever on here. That's why I use the um, alcohol because it gets it really clean. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna do his hat. So I'm gonna take this sleeve and the button placket is gonna be the front of his hat. So I'm just gonna glue this closed. And I'm just gonna push this together to make sure that it really sticks well. So let me know if the lighting is good. I'm playing around with the lighting in this room. Since this room is a lot smaller than my last craft room, um, I had to change the lighting. So do you need more? Do you need less? To me, it looks good, but to you, it might look different. So I just ripped the cuff off of this hat or off of this sleeve. I like the um, the unfinished edge. So we're going to make sure this button placket is in the front. We're going to work with this. We're going to cut the length of this off, but we have to measure it first. So I'm taking the, the edge of this hat right underneath of where the ring would go on the jar. That's why this top portion is not painted. It doesn't need to be. So I'm just measuring this because we're gonna put lights in here before we glue this on. So maybe I'm gonna cuff this. Yeah, I'm gonna cuff this on the hat, okay? So we're going to untwist these lights and we're going to stick these down in there and this little box I'm going to hang out the back. This is a set of 20. You can just get regular 20 lights. This one has three different settings on it to how you want the lights to stay on. And this is such a fine wire. To say hi when you hear hi mom so I just untwisted this lights and I'm just going to shove this down in the jar and I'm going to shove it down all the way to like the last maybe two three inches of this of this where the box is just so it'll hang out the back a little bit and then I'm going to put just a dot of glue on the inside of the jar because when we put this sleeve on, it'll cover up this and we can hide that box a little bit better. So I just folded the edge of this sleeve and this is just a, from a shirt that Tony was getting rid of and I like the fabric. So I want this button on the shirt to show. So I'm just gonna fold this more in the back, I'm gonna cuff it so the cuff in the back is a lot thicker than the one in the front because I want the button on the sleeve to show. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue there to hold it, just in the front. The back doesn't matter. And we're gonna cut this length of the sleeve off too. Just gonna hold this for a second so that will catch. So that's the back of my jar. And I'm gonna put this on. 
and I'm going to glue it right where the ring would go on the jar, but I'm taking the edge of it, the cup, down to the top where this jar goes out. That's how far down I'm taking this hat. You can take it down further, down over top of this, just where it starts to curve, you can take it down to there. We're gonna be putting a face on him, but I wanna make sure that this is stuck before we start gathering this hat. So then I'm gonna glue the back also, and then we're gonna gather this, this sides in. I'm going to put some glue right along the edge and then I'm going to push this in. Uh, to make this tight, I'm gathering it on the sides and the glue will just hold it there. On both sides, that's what I'm doing. So I like being in these swaps with um, in these other groups that I belong to. I was in one not long ago and I met the nicest lady. So this, this one I have two that I'm swapping with. It's nice to get to know people from around the country and never will meet them. I don't think, but you know, you never know. And my light box moved. So we can glue it up here underneath of the band when we get done. So how long do we need this? So I'm just making a, a little slit and then ripping it. And the only time you have to cut after you start ripping this is the uh, seam. So I'm gonna put a little bit of fiber fill down in here. Now this is something else that you can use plastic grocery bags for. I'm just going to stuff some right there just to puff up the top of this hat just a little bit. And then you can tell when you pull your sleeve up. You can use the uh, sleeve of a sweater or a sweatshirt. Maybe a little, not maybe not that much. Oh, that's good. So I'm just going to take another piece of this fabric. I'm cutting the seam off of it. About a half inch and wrap it. I'm also going to take a piece of jute and put these together and I'm going to tie this hat. I'm going to wrap this around a couple of times and I'm doing the jute and the fabric at the same time. And we're just going to tie it off. And I'm just making a knot. Nothing fancy, just a knot. So we're not done with this hat. We're going to put some jingle bells on it. Now this, I'm going to fringe.
There's lots of ways you can personalize this with your fabric. You can give his face more personality by the way you put the, the face on. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. That's better. That's what we have so far. I'm used to working with three tables. This one table is uh, challenging. Okay, I'm gonna lay him down and we're gonna decide where we want his face to be. I have some black acrylic paint. This is a handle from a foam brush and I'm just using the one end and we're gonna give him some eyes. And I have a, a little tiny thin brush. And we are going to give him some cheeks and a mouth. So this is the, um, the red acrylic paint that I added some of the chalk paint to. I'm just gonna dab this stencil brush in here and then dab some of it off. And we're gonna give him really bright rosy cheeks. And I'm just taking this in a circle. And I'm dabbing it because I want the centers to be a little puffy. dry this a little bit. So that continues drying. We're going to put his nose on. So when you do this, you just have to cut this part that goes into the, um, the foam pumpkin off. And it cuts really good with scissors. I don't have my junk scissors in here, so I just have that. And I'm just hot gluing it right to his face. Gonna hold it for a second. And this is a stylus. You can get these at Dollar Tree. One point is a little bit bigger than the other. 
And I'm going to dip this into white acrylic paint. I have these upside down because I'm almost out. And I'm using the fatter edge. And I'm loading it up. And while we're waiting on his cheeks to dry so we can add his mouth, I'm just going to, maybe a paintbrush would be better. Let me try a paintbrush. I have a real fine tip. And I'm adding real small, an X one way and then a plus sign the other way. And we're just putting some snowflakes on there. And we're going to add some snow to him. They're real fine, real small. Not even sure you're going to be able to see them there. But the more dimension, the more things you add to what you're making, when you look at them, people will say, you put a lot of time in that. And this is just an X one way and an X another way. And you can make them all sizes. And I'm just putting them all around his face on the sides. So hopefully you'll be able to see them when we add the snow to it. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm not putting them so far apart. I'm just putting them on there. Now I'm watching that this doesn't get in his cheeks. I don't want this on his cheeks yet. And this will just give him some added snow. Yeah, you can see that. And that wet paint will hold it on there. And when this is totally dry, I am going to put a coat of Mod Podge over everything. Brush that off. Set that aside because we're not done with this glitter yet. I'm trying to think if I want to use a marker or just want to use a paintbrush. I think I'm just going to use another paintbrush. And I'm just going to give him a squiggly mouth with the black acrylic paint. This cap doesn't want to come off. There we go. Now, at this point, I did post a picture yesterday on Telegram. And if you're not a member of my Telegram, go ahead and join that because then you get notifications and I can send um, like a picture of all the snowman faces. But I also posted it on Facebook yesterday because I know some of you are not going to join Telegram. So by doing the eyebrows and the mouth, you can give your snowman all different kinds of personalities. You can make him look like he's disgusted, a happy, whatever. So that's why I posted all those, all that picture yesterday. I found that on uh, Pinterest. So I'm starting the mouth in the cheek. That's why I wanted it to be dry. And I am just freehanding this a squiggly line. That's all it is.
there you go okay so then we're going to give him some eyebrows And I'm dipping the back of my brush, that little point, into the white acrylic paint. And I'm going to put a dot in his eyes. I'm going to wipe this off. Get some more white acrylic paint and put a couple dots in his cheeks. And that just highlights... Maybe do another one on his eye. Just a tiny one. Now, I am not a painter. As I've said before, when my stick figures jump off the paper and they start yelling at me because I have done them such a disservice. So if I can draw this, a snowman face is so simple to make. You can just do a half circle for the mouth if you want it. If I can do this, you can do this. So I'm going to take some of the Mod Podge. I don't know why I shake this all the time. I always do. And I'm taking my fine tip brush, my real little brush. Let me wipe this off. Nope, let me get the white one. I'm wiping this off. I'm picking up some Mod Podge and I'm putting it on the tip of his nose. Now think about this, we're adding snow. The snow comes from up here, down. So where on him is the snow gonna hit? It's gonna hit the tip of his nose. And I'm gonna put it on as we go. The tip of his nose just a little bit I'm going to take his hat and I'm going to glue it off to the side so it doesn't move and that will cover up that light box that moved so we're just because we're going to snow his hat up too okay since the snow comes from up here down We've got to put some snow on the top of his hat. And I'm just dabbing this Mod Podge because snow does not fall in any manner. We're going to put some right here, up here. We're just, I'm globbing, if that's a word, I'm globbing it on. So you always want the back of your projects to look as nice as the front. So we have snow on the front. We need snow on the back. And since this hat's sticking out, we need it down the side. You can make some lines. You can make dots of this. And we're just going to put it on. Just sprinkle it on. That Mod Podge will catch it. The Mod Podge dries clear. So you don't have to worry about that. And when it's this dries, I will knock the excess off. That's not coming off right now. glue string with snow in it and I'm watching as I turn this I don't stick my finger in this cheeks you don't want to get this far in the project and then ruin it because you messed up this cheeks so let's get some more right on the front of his hat
So see, we have snow on the top all the way around. You know what, this side needs some. So I do that all the time. I'll say, oh, I'm done with that part of it. Uh, nope, I need more. You can't have too much on stuff like this. The more you add, the nicer it looks. Where a lot of people say less is more, not on a project like this. Okay, let me set this down so I'm not messing up the glue. We're gonna take some more jute. Where'd I put my scissors? And we're gonna string on some of these rusty jingle bells. Now these are the tiny ones. I don't remember the millimeter, but they're tiny. And I'm just gonna feed them on this jute rope. Three, four of them. If you're having a hard time getting your uh, bells to feed on something like this, tape the end and it will feed it through or you can also put it on a needle. So I'm still looking for my normal camera that I use. I have no idea where I put it. I thought I put everything together. So I have two on each end. And I'm going to knot each end so that the bells won't come off. Now this is uh, baling wire. It's not really jute. You can get this in a huge roll um, at like Lowe's, Tractor Supply, and it's like eight bucks for a gigantic roll. So I'm knotting this and I'm untwisting it just so that end will fray. And then I'm pushing these bells down. So that's what we've got, okay? And I'm gonna wrap this around this hat. I'm watching I don't get my fingers in that glue. I'm pulling it through. And just tie it on here. Tie it right in a knot. Now once you get this on like this, you can adjust a bell, bring it up. I'm going to trim this one off a little bit. These are not my fabric scissors. So that's what we have so far. So you know all snowmen have scarves. So I have a piece of this fabric. It's a primitive fabric and I'm cutting maybe an inch and a half. I'm just ripping it. So it's uneven. That's fine. Now when you rip fabric, if you need a straight edge, that's the best way to get a straight edge. Make a little slit, rip it. It will give you a true uh, straight edge. So I'm gonna take some glue and I'm gonna glue it on the back. And I'm just gathering this up. It's about inch and a half in one spot, two inches in the other, and I'm not gonna even it out. And I'm just gonna stick this on and hold it here just for a second. and wrap this around. Now 
and I'm going to glue it on the side because I don't want this to move. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We did. My son-in-law was home, which is nice because he's not home very much. He was home. He's going to be home for a little while. He's in the military. He's going to be home for a little while, which is good for my daughter and grandkids. And this is their 15th anniversary. When they were talking about getting married, he was stationed at Fort Drum. She went up there for Thanksgiving, came home married, and I didn't know it. So she got married twice. The wedding that I threw for her and the wedding she had with David in Fort Drum. And I didn't know it till after the second wedding. So she has two anniversaries, but they celebrate this one. So you never know what your kids do behind your back, do you? <laughs> okay, there's a scarf. Hi, Tony. There's his scarf. And we're not done. Now these pine um, strips you can get at Dollar Tree. There's like eight of them in a bag. And I just have a, a small piece. And I'm gonna cut it even smaller. Two little pieces. See, even this tiny little piece I will keep because sometimes this is all you need as a decoration. So I'm going to stick some glue on the edge of this and I'm going to stick it down into the knot on his scarf. Now, whatever this pine is made out of, it does start to melt when your hot glue hits it, so try to use it sparingly. But once you get it on, you don't see it. My hubby is working today. So I have these berry picks. I got these from uh, an auction house last year after Christmas. And I'm just going to cut a couple little sprigs off. Just tiny little pieces. These aren't real, um, the real berry picks, because these are styrofoam. These are different. But I got them at a really good price, so I took them. And I'm going to put some glue right in the center. And then put these in here. I'm going to hold all of this and I'm going to let this catch. So let me light this up for you. He has three different settings. I just like the constant light. And I'm going to take a jingle bell and I'm going to put it right in the middle of these berries. So I hope the ladies that I'm making these for like them. They are primitive because it's a primitive site that we met on. I know I would rather receive something handmade. The last lady that I swapped with on another group she sent me some really nice handmade things 
I need to glue this on a little bit better. So I'm going to take this little tiny piece that we cut off and put it right up here on his hat. See, I never know when to stop. I know I made the lady I swapped with, I gave made her one of my bunnies, my big bunnies that stand. And she loved all the detail that I added to it. Oops, I think we're done. <laughs> See, I never know when to quit. But there he is. Let me turn off these lights so that you can see him lit up. There, that's a little better. So all it is, scrap fabric. Now, some of you say, I don't sew, I don't have fabric, I don't wanna go buy all this fabric. You can go and buy a fat quarter from Dollar Tree. They come in all different kinds of, kinds of print. They're like 97 cents. The holiday ones, I think, are a little over a dollar. But also look in your fabric store, Walmart, where they have their cutting table at. They have a basket and they have scrap fabric. Like they'll have like a half a yard or a quarter yard left from a bolt. Pick those up because you can get them like one or two dollars. But, you know, a fat quarter. Now, this is a large piece of fabric for a buck. It's 18 by 21. It's, so that's a large piece of fabric. You can definitely do a whole uh, snowman here and still have fabric left over. So you can use uh, a t-shirt for the hat. You can use uh, a sweater. You know, just look around. You got clothes you're getting rid of. Keep the sleeves and use it. Because that's what this hat is. A sleeve of my hubby. Uh, thanks, Mom. A sleeve of my hubby shirt. And I still have another sleeve and I have the whole shirt. So there's lots of fabric in it. And especially a man's shirt. But there you go. Isn't he adorable? Now you can put this on a shelf. On a table. You can set him inside of a wreath on a table. And have the cutest centerpiece. And your wreath, it can only be green, just greenery, but he will set it off. Looks nice in a bathroom. A little nightlight in a bathroom. But these make really nice teacher's gifts. If you're looking for a teacher's gift, there you go. It's just a jar. You can use a spaghetti sauce jar. You don't have to use a canning jar like I did. You can use a spaghetti sauce jar. You can make these out of pickle jars. The gallon jars that you get pickles in, wouldn't that be cute? A great big one. <laughs> Tony's saying you cut my shirt up. <laughs> so you can make little ones and give them out as favors at your Christmas dinner. Or if you're going, if you a group of ladies in an office, there you go. Something really cheap. And you can use throwaway products for it. Okay, everybody, have a great Saturday. Go to church tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. And we'll see you next time. God bless. Hi, Nancy, you missed it all. Thank you. <laughs> you have to go back and watch the replay.